Another Intel Arc question here, would you now recommend more gamers try Arc GPUs given the state of current gen AMD and Nvidia cards? Maybe it will encourage Intel to put more resources in that division. I think with the pricing that they're at at the moment, it's... Yeah, they're fairly compelling. Yeah. I've, I've, I've got to do some more updated testing. Um, a few people have complained that we haven't got Arc GPUs in our current benchmark graphs for stuff like the RTX 4060 and RX 7600. And the reason for that is we were sort of under a bit of a, a t time crunch there. And I went to update our Arc results and I ran into a few different problems in a couple of the games we were testing. So I think Intel has addressed all of those problems now. So I'll probably have a go at doing that again. Would I recommend, I? it's a tough one. I mean, I'm not exactly sure where I stand on the Arc GPUs because they're certainly impressive in certain games. And I know other games, there's ongoing issues, which has been frustrating for those of you who own Arc GPUs. So if you happen to play a game that is well supported and works well, then sure, seems like a good idea. But yeah, and I mean, it, Intel has been committed to Arc and when there have been problems, they've done their best to jump on them and, and address them. But yeah, I, I just, I don't know if I'm ready to recommend them over similarly priced, you know, AMD products. Because I think the, the 6650 XT is within like $10 of the mm -hmm. ARC A750. I think when the A, was it the A750 or A77? I can't quite remember. One of them dropped to below $200, and I think that is reasonably compelling given what mm -hmm. it offers. Uh, but certainly it's going to, as you say, take that, it needs to be that level lower price. Yeah, like AMD needs to be a level below NVIDIA, yeah. and then Intel needs to be a level below AMD. Yeah, I think that's pretty much how I would see it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, certainly they need to be offering very compelling price to performance to sort of mitigate some of the other issues. But again, th those issues are improving. So as you say, if you find a game that works really well for you and you're sort of committed to playing that game, I imagine it'll be a little bit better with newer tiles over time as I imagine a lot of Intel's driver development effort will be on newer games as opposed to older games. Mm -hmm. um, if that's sort of the position that you're in, then... Yeah, it could be a decent option. Again, there's not a lot of like sub two hundred dollar cards that are like go out and buy that. I think the RX sixty six hundred has just started dipping below two hundred dollars US. Um, so there's certainly an opportunity for a higher performance Intel GPU to offer something there. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of Intel getting the price down that low. I think the current pricing for like an A seven seventy is still a little too high, especially for the 16 gig model. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the 16 gig model is like $200, it's like, there's, there's some reasonable, yep. yeah, it looks reasonably good there. So yeah, it's all about pricing for Intel and they're clearly still working on that. So yeah, we'll see.